You are listening to the family of Tegeta podcast. Message from Neo. Relics in Peru. Beloved friends of Earth. As everyone is focused on the life before them in each waking dream, there are questions regarding life on distant stars that seem to be both relevant and not important at all in the grand scheme of life. But knowing that an unlimited number of visitors once walked on the very land that you call home, might awaken a new interest in disclosure and truth. Visitations can no longer be covered and hidden from the masses. Never has there been such a waking dream that covers one story globally in seconds. For this reason, this dream is both impactful, informative and serves to bring humanity to the brink of knowing all secrets that seemingly had you in fear and trepidation. Indeed, you can no longer be controlled as we are here in power and truth. You are returning to your higher state of being. Well done, beloved ones. In this communication, we will discuss two races that traversed the air and ground in ancient dreams. These beings meant no harm and came often to explore and offer friendship to indigenous tribes. Received as friends, the visitors sat among the tribes and shared food as primitive drumming and fires lit the atmosphere while unity and peace were present. Unable to communicate with language, the actions and sharing with smiles brought friendship among races from such a distance in created origin. The first race to be shared are the Tunis from Tuis. This is a small planet on the outer perimeter of your galaxy. Indeed, they were always fascinated with the great planet Earth, and attempted visits for thousands of years before successfully landing in small crafts in the mountains just miles from Peru. These beings are peaceful and desire friendships while lacking advancement in technology that would enable greater travel throughout the cosmos. The Galactic Federation has provided great teaching to the Tunis and they will join the new Earth as the unity of races create a galactic civilization with the shift to Sheen. The Tunis stand between 3 and 4 feet tall. They procreate energetically and enjoy family life. They stand erect as humans with facial features being similar in form. They have a beating heart, lungs and a digestive tract. They consume plants and water for sustenance. They enjoy simple huts and colorful rock formations where many gather to share news and maintain privacy. The Tunis live in body form for 600 years and incarnate back into their own race of being. Small crafts have been improved over time and they look forward to extended travels. After visiting Earth many times and having close connections with Incas and other indigenous tribes, the Tunis were discovered by others in the area and great fear came to humans. People often fear what is not understood. Those that arrived and saw the Tunis tried to kill them and the small beings fled into the mountains, caverns and areas that would become mines. The Tunis no longer arrived on Earth and in your waking dream, the remains of body forms have been discovered with answers unknown. Now you know the identity of loving friends who remain aware of life on Earth. The second race to be discussed are the Belixians from Belix. Their planet is small and is located just outside of the Milky Way. These beings have a greater knowledge of technology in the moment of now, than when they visited thousands of years ago. In those moments, they required great assistance and teaching. This was done with the aid of beloved Arcturians. Having members of the Galactic Federation, many Arcturians visited Bellix with gifts of crystals, sharing musical instruments and craft technology. The Belixians were astonished to meet their new blue friends with heights of 12 and 14 feet while they stood at 4 and 5 feet. Indeed, the Arcturians were giants to such a small race of beings. Belixians were brought to Earth by Arcturians where they explored and enjoyed eating fruit, vegetables and plants. They enjoyed dancing and the Arcturians taught them to play flutes and pan drums. There was great joy among indigenous tribes on Earth as they had already been visited by Pleiadians and now such a mix of diversity arrived often. The beings from Belix had no mode of transportation but that would come later. In these moments, they were cared for by Arcturian friends. The Belixians stand as humans and their features are large black eyes, a small round nose and thin lips. Most of the race will stand 5 feet tall in height but the range is 3 to 5 feet. 
They procreate energetically and live approximately 400 years. They incarnate back to their race. Their remains have been discovered in mines within the mountains of Peru. The few that were left behind, had hidden from Arcturians as they left. These Belixians hoped to remain on Earth but this was not a viable option without great support. Their great friends had left and they perished within the rocks of Peru. How great is the love before you in friendships and unity of life! In light we live as one. Eniki my ea. I love you so. Neo.